Good day, everyone. Happy New Year 2021. This is January 1st, 2021. And after a very hard 2020, it actually feels good to finally be here in 2021. But we do have a long road ahead of us as this is a brand new year. And we don't know exactly what's going to be coming up. Everyone is resting and relaxing and enjoying and being with their family right now, which is very understandable. But let's take a look at what the new year and what the gods have to say about this. This is a generalized runic reading. You can take what you want from it. If it resonates with you, that is fine. If it does not, you can toss it to the side. Now, I drew these three out on random. And it came out like this. And I, I usually use, and possibly the only thing that I use at this uh, time is a generalized three past, present, and future uh, layout. So let's get into this. I'm going to start with these three. And I want you to see these. Give me one moment while I turn these around. These are the three rooms that were pulled. Now, to remind everybody, the runes are actually considered the language of the gods. And so let's hear what the gods have to say to us today. We have three runes. In the past, we have Burkana. In the present, we have Gebo. And in the future, we have Sowillo. I will be getting into all three. Let me start with the first. But before I do that, I'm going to place these back in the original order that I drew them out. And I'll explain why. Much like the tarot, how the runes are drawn are actually pretty significant. In this particular instance, we have uh, the first one in the normal, drawn-out, positive, if you want to call it that, um, setting. However, these two coming up, the next two, are not only... Well, this, the second one, Gebo, is more of an ambivalent rune. This one, you, if you cast either way, it would give you a positive and a negative. However, this one, since it is turned around, is a warning. Now, the warning doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing. It could just mean, you know, well, it could mean anything from, you know, warning of what's coming up in the new year to watch out for something or a warning to you're going to get something, but, you know, don't... Uh, you know, become too arrogant or don't, you know, in any way think that or go beyond, uh, I'm trying to think of the actual termage for it. Basically, you know, be like, yes, you got something great, but don't take too much advantage of that. Be grateful for what you have. And then the same thing with this one in the future uh, as well. And I will also explain the fact that also in the future one is also in the negative context, and I will explain what that is when I get more into it. We're going to start with the first one, which is in the past, or in the past layout, and that is Burkana. Now, Burkana is a rune that is associated with the letter B in the English alphabet, and its ancient meaning is a swan. Now, the essence of this particular rune is connected to uh, beauty and femininity, this rune symbolizes a woman in all her traditional roles, a mother, a wife, a sister, and a daughter. This rune has a receptive energy, and its strength lies in welcoming, understanding, and nurturing. Bukana has a great creative force. It is the rune of sensuality and maternity and is closely connected to the arts in the sense of energy that creates and transforms. Now remember, this one is um, in the past layout. So this would be for anybody, you know, in the past year or even probably their past all the way throughout their lives or anything that was re recently in their past. It could be anything like this. So if this resonates with you, that's a good thing. If not, that's fine too. Now, because this rune is in the positive, um, is in the positive facing, we're going to just talk about that for a little while. Now, the positive, uh, for this room, some keywords for this is creation, sensitivity, artistic talent, aesthetic sense, love of children, animals, maternity, and the ability to nurture. Now, the message for this room, it speaks of tenderness as a necessary energy for taking action in the world. Regardless of our sexual identity, we are living in profound harmony with our feminine side in this moment. We feel compassionate and full of inspiration. 
There is nothing competitive in our interactions with others. We are motivated by the desire to understand them and make them feel good. Our creative abilities are highly stimulated with this rune. This is an excellent opportunity to create something, or if you, as I stated, if, since this is in the, um, the past bracket here, it, you know, if people have started to create something or were working on something and, you know, have done that, this is a good thing for that and definitely would should resonate with you on that. And Burkana also speaks to the desire to be parents and to start a family. So once that also resonates with you, once again, you can take creativity in that particular aspect as well. There are a few questions that go along with this room, okay? And let's see if any of these would resonate with any of you. Um, you can leave comments at the bottom for each one of these if you want. If not, you can keep it to yourself and just think about it and ponder on it as you go into this next year. Questions are, are we capable of caring for others and do we desire to bring something into this world? What emotions do children inspire in us? And what sort of relationship do we have with our parents? Are we creative? Once again, this rune is associated with that. Do we have trouble expressing our emotions? Are we sometimes ashamed by what we feel? Do we frequently blush? Are we at ease in the midst of people? And would we, li would we like to have a pet to look after? So, you know, not necessarily children, but, you know, also, you know, in the nurturing sense of maybe, a, you know, a pet, animal, plant, anything like that as well. Now these runes can also be worn as talismans. So if you want to wear these as talismans, this particular rune protects children and women and stimulates our creativity. It assists in actual and symbolic births and it provides serenity and makes us generous and altruistic. So again, if this particular rune resonates with you, please leave a comment or you don't have to. Either one, you can take it and bring it with you into the next year. Now this next rune is Gebo, and this one is associated with the letter G. Now the reason why I have it like this is because this is how it came out. This rune is actually in what is considered um, the warning position. Now I will turn this around so you can actually look at it and see it. Give me one moment while I do so. Now this rune, as I stated before, is Gebo. It is associated with the letter G and it its meaning is gift. Now this is good because this is rune is actually in the present um, setting here in this uh, three uh, three runic um, setting that I have. Which is a good thing because I believe that all of us do collectively deserve a gift after this very very trying year of 2020. And 2021 is definitely a, a gift for all of us in that we made it to this, uh, to this year. And it's um, a good thing that a lot of us did. Okay. Now this, as I stated before, it signifies a gift, a sign of devotion and reward, and is closely connected to love and brotherhood. Now the essence of this rune has to do with gratitude and generosity. Gebo also indicates the importance of humility. <clears throat> As I stated before, this is a gift. However, it also does, I want to bring up gratitude for a moment. In the fact that at this point, I think after 2020, we are all pretty grateful to have made it past a very, very difficult year for many people. People, you know, have gotten sick or have lost loved ones or jobs, homes, all sorts of things. And we are... I think generally just grateful that we're all still alive, still breathing. A lot of us still have our loved ones. Um, and for those who don't, I'm sorry about that. And, and I hope that they are more in peace and that you find some, some peace and, and your gift this year. Let's get more into this. I'm going to turn this back around again because this is the way it's supposed to be. Give me a moment. Now, because this is a, a rune that is pretty ambivalent if you throw it either way and it, if it's upright and it can be you know upside down or upside right you're going to be getting 
both the keywords of the positive and the negative on this one. So as a gift, not all gifts are positive. Some gifts are negative, but not all negative gifts are a bad thing. Sometimes you need that to be able to bring out the positive in you, to bring out the strength in you, to show you something that you need to work on or to show you something that will bring forth the best in you and what else that you can do to improve your life going forward. Now, the key words for the positive on this are generosity, abundance, brotherhood, universal love, gratitude, and a positive exchange. However, the negative on this is isolation, solitude, meanness, calculating, hypocrisy, fear of others, and shyness. Now, this um, does hit with me as well as going into the new year because many of us, most of us, have been in isolation and solitude for most of 2020, not by choice, but because of a very horrible disease that is going around that does not look like it's going to be stopping anytime soon. And hopefully we can start to get this under control so that we can receive the gift of this new year and move forward in a more positive way around the world. And I hope that we've all learned a little bit more about ourselves and about each other and to really take care of ourselves on a human level on a whole. Now, the message of this rune uh, demonstrates how an open and trusting attitude influences the world around us. The gift that this rune alludes to is not necessarily something material, but more often than not, it's one's self. The seventh rune pushes us to share our gifts joyfully with others. We do not need to be afraid of being robbed. On the contrary, by sharing our gifts with others, they shine even more. This is a positive moment. We are capable of giving affection and support to those close to us, and we are rewarded with the same generosity. However, I did say that this is actually in the warning, because it is turned around and facing down. So I will give you the warning here, and it advises not to fear moments of solitude because these moments are important in the course of life. Nevertheless, there is no need to wallow in these moments, but rather to overcome the obstacles related to these moments. This rune cautions to not expect that others come to us, but to give yourself with courage and humility without worrying about the consequences. Gebo speaks of an unselfish love, which in its pureness generates other love. Now, there are some questions with this rune, and I will ask these, and take these if they resonate with you, think about them into the next new year, and even on today, as this is de definitely the rune for uh, the present, um, yeah, okay, and these questions here are, are we open to others, and what place does friendship have in our life? Do we act in an unselfish way? Are we able to recognize the worth of those close to us? And do we wish ourselves well? How well developed is our ability to be kind? Are we able to care for others? Do we wish to be diverted? Do we take ourselves too severely? And are we afraid of solitude? Now, as I stated before, with the first rune, all of the runes can be worn as talismans. And if you do want to wear this one as a talisman, this rune, Gebo, gives us the gift of acting in a balanced and diplomatic matter, manner excuse me, and protects those who have to enter into a contract. So if anybody is getting into some kind of contract at some point, this is a very good rune to wear around your neck. I'm going to turn this around again so you can look at it again. Here we go. That's a very good rune for that. It gives kindness, a firmness of spirit, and an open heart. I actually like this one, as I stated before, because this is a gift. And, and as I stated also as well, it doesn't necessarily mean a physical gift. I mean, it could be. It really depends. But more likely than not, it's the gift of being more self-aware, the gift of seeing what is inside and the gifts that you have already been given and the gift of being able to utilize what you have and utilize what's inside of you for the next year. Moving on to the last rune. Now this rune is known as Stovilo. And normally it's actually faced the other way. 
this way. This would be the positive aspect of this rune. However, this rune when I threw it was this way. So this one is in the negative aspect. Not to mention that it was also like this. So we're going to get into this rune really fast. Again, I will turn this around so you can see it. Here you are. Now, this rune is associated with the letter S in the English language, and its meaning is the wheel. Now, this rune is closely connected with the concepts of destiny, fortune, and fate, which is perfect considering the fact that it is in the future of the uh, three um, runic tosses that I put out there. I don't remember exactly what word I used before that because I'm actually kind of tired doing this. Uh, but even then, the fact that I was able to just pull this one out for the future is pretty significant. Um, fortune is a wheel that turns tirelessly, bringing positive and negative events into our lives. Another meaning of this rune is propulsive energy. Our job is to move forward towards destiny with strength, overcoming any obstacles that we may find in our path. Faith in our own resources is the weapon that will bring us success. Now, normally I would read the positive on this. However, this is not how this rune turned out. So I will be reading the negatives on this. Again, a negative doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing. A negative, especially in the future, is something that can be changed. Remember, past and present do affect the future. And these things can be changed. It can also be things that you can look into yourself that you may want to watch out for in the future or something that you may need to use in your future in order to bring about a more positive change into your life. Now, the negatives that are associated with this rune are stress, false destinations, excessive attachment to money, difficulty in living everyday life, and pessimism. Now, I want to touch on the difficulty of living everyday life, especially for this past year. Because this past year was so up in the air from March going on through that nobody knew what each day was going to bring. So the, so the future of each day was just very difficult and very just out there and not knowing what's going to happen next. And so this one being in the future spot here um, really, really does touch on me, and I'm sure it's going to touch on a lot of other people for that. And also the pessimism here, this last year definitely would bring a lot of that out into people, but, and we would probably carry this into the new year for a little while, but it's, a, you know, it's good to know that we, you know, would recognize that we have something like this, and to use this again in a way that would benefit ourselves in our future as opposed to holding us back. Now, the message of this rune invites us to measure our strengths and to use them only for things that really interest us. The world is full of possibilities and it is up to us to determine the road we must take. With a clear mind and a pure heart, we must look within our souls to determine what we truly desire. This rune brings good luck, which is great for the future because all of us could use some good luck in our future, especially going forward within this next year. Now this rune, now that the rune, the fortune, I'm sorry, now that fortune smiles upon us, it would be a shame not to seize the occasion. Again, in the future, we need to start seizing all of that, and that does also make sense, which is another reason why I found it significant that this was put into that particular part of the casting. But we can better exploit the situation if we are only truly self-aware. Again, a lot of these runes are telling us to be self-aware within the next coming year. So all of these runes are connected, especially in the sense of self and ourselves and within ourselves. But because this rune was in the warning, um, it advises us not to abuse our energies because they are not limitless. We are mortal, everyone. <laughs> It is unwise to cultivate unrestrained ambitions and poorly disguised dreams of greatness. We must not bite off more than we can chew because there is a danger of a great fall from grace if we do so. Meaning don't take on too much because you may not be able to fulfill some of these things and that may not be a good thing for you in the future in the long run. This is a time to reflect on the way we treat others. 
If we are too arrogant or presumptuous, it is necessary to make amends. Now, I'm going to be giving the questions for this rune as well, and take them if they resonate, reflect on them coming into this next year. Is our happiness contagious? How is our health? Is our way, to, is our way of eating healthy? And do we abuse our strengths? Do we respect our bodies? What wonderful dream are we about to realize? Do we know when to keep silent? Do we feel superior to others? What kind of relationship do we have with elderly people? Do we know how to respect the hierarchy? Now, as I said before, these runes can be worn as a talisman. And for those who may be interested in wearing this rune as a talisman, I will actually turn this around now so you can see what it would look like normally here. Okay, This helps us clarify what we really want. Again, in the future, it would be good to think about what we really want and to work towards that clarification. It makes us vital, optimistic, and enhances our mood in a positive way. It protects us if we need to take a trip or during a sporting event. Not sure why about the sporting event, but I guess, hey, you know, I guess the wheel does kind of make sense with that. Maybe chariots or things like that back in the day. I couldn't really explain that. I'm going to put all three of these runes back out now. So you can take a good look at them. All right. This is a generalized reading for 2021 on this New Year's Day. Please take what resonates with you. And what does not resonate with you, you can leave to the side. If anybody has any additional questions, you can feel free to ask any in the comments at the bottom of this video. Once again, I want to wish everyone a very happy blessed and safe new year keep in mind that there is still a nasty nasty virus going around so try to keep yourself safe so that we can get to this future that we can get this gift and bring it in here okay have a happy new year and good night <laughs>